Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS. Remove the back plate of your 3DS and remove the micro SD card. Insert the micro SD card into a micro SD card adapter. Insert the SD card into your computer. Before you homebrew your 3DS, you'll need to back up all of your data on the micro SD card. Download the homebrew files from the link in the description, then extract them to your desktop. Copy all of the homebrew files to your Nintendo 3DS SD card. Eject the SD card then put it back into your Nintendo 3DS. If you get this message on your 3DS, remove the micro SD card and clean it. Open the internet browser and type in the URL that's on screen now. Scroll down and open the menu hat manager from the homebrew menu. Press A and wait for it to finish. There will be some errors, but that's okay. Press A, then B, then start. You can now use all the great homebrew features on your Nintendo 3DS.
Press start, then A on the homebrew menu to go back to the 3DS home screen. If you had a theme on your Nintendo 3DS, it will be removed. You can't use themes from the Nintendo eShop on your homebrewed 3DS. To boot into the homebrew launcher, press L when the Nintendo 3DS is powering on. To remove the homebrew from your Nintendo 3DS, put the micro SD card into your computer and format the SD card. Put the files from the backup folder you created earlier onto the SD card. Your 3DS should no longer have homebrew. If your 3DS doesn't boot correctly, remove the game card when it's turning on for the first time. 